Today we're going to take a look at and run some paddle tires from iFly RC and that's coming up next year on Jesse B Motors. Welcome back. So the other day on YouTube I asked you guys what you want to see done to the Arma Typhon that I picked up here to 3S. And we had a few people say they wanted to see it with paddle tires. So I hopped on eBay and I found these iFly RC paddle tires. And what we're going to do is we're going to take them out, look at them real quick. And then these do need glued. They're not pre-glued. So I'm going to glue them. I'll do that off camera. And then we'll throw them on here and we'll go run the Typhon out in the snow and test these out. So I just want to take them out of the package here real quick. And just want to look over them. We'll go over all four of them here real quick and see if we can find any defects in there from the factory. But looking at these right now, these do look like they're pretty good. One area of concern I have is right here. Looks like there's not much material there, but we'll find out about that. Looks like the hex is pretty decent on it. And basically all the rubber on these look pretty good. I don't see nothing wrong with them. So this is just going to be a quick looking at them. You can see how the paddles are there. Everything looks real good on them. I don't see no defects in craftsmanship or anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and this is just going to be a short little unboxing. There ain't really much to look at. They got a little flashing right here hanging off on this wheel. Don't know if you can even see that or not if the camera would pick that up. Just a little bit of flashing. But besides that, these look pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get these glued up. And then we'll put them on the Typhon and take it outside and run it. Now there is one thing I want to show you guys this before I go ahead and glue them. It's a little bit different. Look where the bead is. Right on the edge of the lip instead of being on top. It's actually in the side. That's a little bit different, but I'm going to go ahead and get the glue out and get these glued up. Okay, I got them all glued back on here, and we were talking about this on uh, my Facebook group, RC Car Life, the other day. I absolutely hate gluing tires, and this is the reason. I barely get any on my fingers, and then I get it on the sidewalls. Usually, I try to buy pre-glued tires for that reason. That one came out horrible. This one came out pretty good here. This one, once again, I got some spots on it. If you guys know how to get that off... Let me know in the comments down below. I've never looked it up or anything. Usually I just get mad about it. But these all look good. And in case you're wondering, the glue I use, I use this J Concepts. And I like the little spout that they have that comes with it. I was using Proline. But I'll tell you right now, I'll forever now, until something better comes out, use these J Concept ones. Alright, we got them on now. Those things look great. And I'll tell you what, this was my first one eighth scale. And the 17 uh, millimeter hex on it. The wrench that came with this was the only thing I can complain about from Arma. The machining on it was rough and everything. I picked up this little hex wrench here from Hobby Park. You can see there, 17 millimeter. This thing has come in real handy for changing tires and making sure the wheel nuts are tight. I'll leave a link for you guys to check this out down below also. But let's go ahead and take this outside and rip it now. One quick thing I forgot to mention before we go outside is... There is one vent hole in these, so I don't know if you can see it in there. There you can see it. I put some Gorilla Tape. I always put Gorilla Tape over the vent holes. That keeps dirt, water, and sand from getting inside your tire because these aren't vented. And with sand paddle tires, you don't want to vent the rubber parts. I would just leave them like it is. So I always go ahead and I put some of that tape in there just to keep the water, dirt, and sand out. All right, now we got it outside. What we're gonna do is, is we're gonna run it a little bit here in the driveway, and then we'll go to a couple other spots over here where I ran before, and then we might try over here in the deep stuff, and if it works in the deeper stuff, we got some snow, so there's deeper snow on the pond. If they'll handle that, we'll go on the pond and see how they do over there. So let's go ahead and just rip it real quick here in the driveway, and then we'll go to some other spots. Alright, does pretty good on the pack stuff. I'm already 
Ready to move over? Let's try it somewhere else. Okay, we got some deeper snow over here, so let's go ahead and try it. It launches pretty good, but nope. Don't look like it's gonna handle that too good at all. We'll take it back over here and we'll see if it'll work on the hill where the wind uh, blows a little bit better. Most of the problem with this is, is that this buggy don't have much ground clearance. And that's where we have the issue that we run into with the deep snow. What I might do is I might buy some 17 millimeter hexes and put some 2.8 uh, Badlands on this and try that out. Let's go ahead and jump it up in here. Yep, not gonna go in this deeper snow. Let's try one more spot. Okay, the snow's not as deep over here, so we'll buzz it around over here and see how it does. You got a little jump there. Do a little rip in. In between the trees. And come back here. It's going over that jump pretty good. And we'll try it over here again. And nope, buried it. We'll go back to the other side. Buzz it around over here a little bit more. I know what you guys are saying. And that was a test right there. I don't know if we're going to work on the pond or not. But that's right where the rocks are. Let's go ahead and go down and get this real quick. And we'll go ahead and we'll see if we can run it on the rest of the pond. Be kind of careful here. This is a deep bank of snow. But yep, it'll go on the pond perfectly good. You can see it kicking up that snow. I love running this thing on the pond. So we can see it runs pretty good over here on the pond where there's not a bunch of deep snow. We'll go over ahead and bash it over here for a minute. I love running on the pond when it's snow covered. It almost makes it like its own little track. And I really love that. Whoo, saved it right there. So as we're out here ripping, you can see this thing is a blast. These snow tires are really hooking up. Well, I should say sand pal tires, but we're using them here in the snow. They are hooking up pretty good. I would say as long as you got, ooh, that was close. As long as you got, only got a couple inches of snow, if you're running a Typhon or any other buggy, these things will work just great. I don't know if you would want to put these on something that's like a uh, Truggy or a monster truck. You would be better off getting bigger sand paddle tires for that. But for a buggy, they seem to be uh, doing pretty good. Throwing up nice rooster tails here as we see a flyby here. And I think uh, my battery's going dead. We just hit low voltage cutoff. So we'll end it right here. But as you guys can see, We'll go ahead and take it inside. They work perfectly good. I'll give you my final thoughts inside on them. Now that we're back inside and we got this all dried off, what I want to look at is I'm going to pull these rims off and I'm gonna look for cracks in them. But as you can see, this thing ripped through the snow pretty good. The only issue I had was the deep snow, which this is a RC buggy, so there's not a lot of ground clearance. So I'm not gonna hold that against the tires. 
because where it did have the ground clearance these things rip so I'm going to go ahead and get these off and we're going to take a look at them so like I said before what I'm looking for is stress cracks and the parts I was worried about was in these little webbings right here on this tire that all looks fine don't look like no cracks inside of that one anywhere so that one looks all good go to this one here basically we'll look again only marks I see is from the nuts being tightened down on them no cracks there don't see no cracks in there either so far these are looking great and it was cold outside it was about 20 degrees out and we knew plastic and 20 degrees in bashing usually end up in a breakage but so far I have yet to see anything wrong with these so they're holding up great so far now if I was jumping that might be another story I didn't have a ramp out there but a couple of times I jumped it off the pond and stuff and they held up pretty good so overall after the first run I'm pretty happy with these iFly RC paddle tires so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to leave a link down below for you guys to check those out. I'll also leave a link down to this Hobby Park wrench too. I kind of like that over what came with the Typhon to get the wheel nuts off. I'll leave a link for everything, all that down below. I do recommend these so far. If I have any issues, I'll get back with you guys on it. So that's all I got for today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. On Facebook, don't forget I got a group on there, RC Car Life. Come over and join in on the fun. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all on the next one.